Jesus. Any colors. Any odos. We bless you, Jesus. Me koko to a lato zwaza zi. Ye de bre de bozo zwaza zi garado zwada des. We bless you, Jesus. Tako to la. We bless you, Jesus. Ato zaza zabra baba zaza zabra baba zaza zaga dabra gada. Inodos edio koto la karabash. Edo zwala tela brede bosa tedia. In the name of Jesus. I kalabra badi gara dozo adi gara dozo. We bless you, Jesus. We exalt. We magnify you. We give you praise. Thank you, Father. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And we give him all the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank In you, the Jesus. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. We, we exalt you. you Lord. We give you praise and glory. Hallelujah. The Bible says it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. It's of the Lord's mercies. That we are not consumed. That we are not consumed. Mm, yes, we bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We exalt you. We exalt you, Lord. We are grateful to God for his grace and his goodness, for his mercies, for all that he has been doing for us. This yes. is the beginning of another week. God has been good. God has been gracious. God has been faithful. I believe that God who brought you into this new week has his plans for you has his intentions for us and it is the week that the lord has made oh yes we will rejoice we'll rejoice and be glad and we're glad in it in it hallelujah Amen. hallelujah praise god praise the lord so this is activating power prayers and i'm reverend jed and my beloved wife pastor joy hallelujah they praise god praise god wow <laughs> thank you jesus thank you lord you know, every time it's a new week, it's another opportunity for us to to just start afresh. Begin Something with new. God. Begin with God. Something new. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. And Hallelujah. I believe that this week, new things are about to arise Amen. on our behalf. Amen. God is about to do something awesomely new. Hallelujah. To the glory and praise of His name. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. So, Pastor Joy, let's have our scriptures this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> we give God praise. Good mm. morning to you this morning. morning. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new week. Mm. It's a brand new season. Mm. It's the first working day of the week. Yes, and we Lord. give God praise. Mm. We are beginning a brand new topic called Experiencing the Terrible Works of God. Experiencing the Terrible Works of God. And we are reading from the book of Exodus chapter 34. We are reading verse 10. Amen? Amen. It says, And he said, that was God speaking, Behold, I make a covenant before all thy people and will do marvels such as have not been done in all the earth mm. not in any nation and all the people among whom thou art shall see the work of the Lord for it is a terrible thing that I will do with you wow. hallelujah praise God praise God thank you Jesus Come on now. well you know God mm. is, is so gracious that yes. in spite of everything that we 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 do in shortcomings yes. that produce inadequacies in man mm. god always wants to show himself as god yes. 
And I know that this week God will appear as your God. Amen. In that situation, God will Lord appear Jesus. as your God. Amen. In that embarrassment, God will appear as your God. Amen. In that reproach, Jesus. God will appear as your God. Amen. In that Amen. situation in that looks like Jesus. He wants to swallow up your, your the glory of God in your life, God will appear as God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So God began to tell the people that they will experience him in a way that they have never imagined before. Mm. But the first thing God says that will be the platform to experience is, he said, it is by reason of a covenant. Wow. It is a covenant. Mm. Look at that scripture there. Verse 10, he said. Yes. 34, verse 10. He said, and he said, behold, I make a covenant. I make a covenant. I make a covenant. I make that a is, covenant. He's telling us that what he's about to do, he will not bulge. He will not shift. <laughs> he will not change. He will not Come be worried. He will not be Come weak. On now. He will show himself strong. He will show he himself will be there strong. at the right time. Come on he now. will be there at all times. Hallelujah. He will be there forever. Oh, yes. He will be there when it matters most. Mm. He will be there for you. Mm. That is what he means when he says, and I make a covenant. covenant. Now, in basic covenants, we see the covenant with Noah, the covenant with Abraham, the covenant with the children of Israel, the covenant with David, and then the covenant that Jesus enacted by his blood, which is the covenant of the new creation, the new, the, the new covenant, which is by grace, through faith in Christ Jesus. Now, these are basic covenants, but God says that he will make a covenant. My and I pray God. that you will position yourself, because covenants are the platform to which you can see the wonders of God. Covenant is a platform to which God can do terrible acts. Mm. It was on the basis of the covenant that God had with the children of Israel that he began to do wonders in the land of Egypt. Mm. God used everything possible to teach Pharaoh a lesson. And I mm. pray for you. Everything that is making a mockery of your destiny, whatever is holding on to your destiny, that will not let your destiny progress, that mm. will not allow your destiny to prosper. In this season, God will teach them a lesson. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So the covenant is a platform to which God does terrible works. Glory to Jesus. Terrible works. Oh, yes. Terrible works. Terrible works. Terrible works. Terrible works. And I know that in this season, Carlo Twazas, Enige Dwele Koto Zwadas, God will do terrible works. Amen. In your marriage, Amen. God will do terrible works. Amen. In the life of our children, God will do terrible works. In our ministries, God will do terrible works. Concerning our expectations, God will do terrible works. Amen. That thing that looks like it was impossible. It took 430 years. But God showed up in Exodus and he promised them that he would do terrible works. Terrible and works. this week, God is promising you that he would do terrible works. In your workplace, yes. God will do terrible works. In our families, God will do terrible works. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Pastor Jesus. Pastor Joy, I want you to come in, please. My God, ah, it's a good. week of terrible works. I ah, tell you that. Ah, that. I tell you that. I want to read our place again, it says. Mm. And he said, mm. behold, that means look, observe something. Mm. Mm. I make a covenant. And can I tell you something concerning the covenant of God? He didn't make this covenant with the children of Israel when they were still in Egypt. The terrible works he was telling them was when he brought them out of Egypt. Mm. In Egypt, you cannot experience terrible works. What you will see is the acts of God to rescue you from captivity. That was what we saw God display in the plagues he released upon Egypt. But in this place, God began to tell them something. Behold, I make a covenant before all thy people. He said, I will do marvels such as have not been done in all the earth. And that is God we are talking about here. We are talking about God moving in dimensions that are not natural. Yes, he is God. He can do that. He said he only does it with the people he cut a covenant with. And if you have not had any covenant with God, you are not you are not part of this. You are not a participant. You are not a candidate of this. It is those he cut a covenant with for we that are the children of God. Do you know that it is your entitlement to a 
experience on a daily basis terrible works of God. Do you know that? Yes, Jesus told us that about terrible works. He said, signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. That is what we are talking about. Mm. The terrible works of God is the thing that is unusual where you see the shadow of Peter releasing those bound. Where you see you speaking in tongues and releasing mysteries. Where you see demons crying out when you appear. The terrible works didn't just begin now. It began with the people that God cut a covenant with. If you are hearing me, wherever you are, a child of God, we are talking about experiencing the terrible works of God. God said the people I cut a covenant with, they are the people that I display terrible works. I want to read the scripture in the book of Acts of the Apostles yeah, chapter 8. I read from verse 9 to 12. It says, but there was a certain man uh, yeah, brother, called Simeon which before the time, Acts chapter 8, that's why I'm reading, I'm reading verse 9 now. Mm. He said, this man is called Simeon. Uh, he said, which before the time in the same city used sorcery. Yeah, now we're talking about terrible works because we also know that there are magicians who are displaying things that look as if it is the terrible acts of God. But I tell you something, in this generation there will be a clear demarcation. When a terrible works is performed, it can be clearly seen that this one is the work of God. We saw that in this place a man called Simeon mm. is a sorcerer. This man in this particular city or oh, was using sorcery and bewitch the people of Samaria. The Bible said that people are giving him, giving out that himself was some great one. He was seen as a great one. In fact, look at what the Bible says. That the people, verse 10, the whom they all gave him. Can you imagine? A particular generation, the entire city, all of them, the Bible said, they gave heed to this man. Mm. From the least of them to the greatest of them, men of influence, men of insignificance, all of them were giving heed to this man, saying, this man is the great power of God. I tell you, in these terrible works that God is going to declare, there's going to be a clear demarcation between the sorcerers, the magicians, and the terrible works of God. As we see what happened here, the Bible says that to him they gave regard. They were paying attention to him. Mm. The Bible said because that of a long time he had bewitched them with sorcery. I tell you it may have been a long time and people have been bewitched and some people are actually mistaken. Jesus even told us that if it were possible, the very elect shall be deceived. The Bible says a particular time they will even call down fire from heaven and you are mistaking it. Is it not the heaven of God? No, they are manipulations. They are witchcraft operations and I want to announce to every witchcraft operation. I want to announce to every falsehood. I want to announce to every illegal thing that is misrepresenting the work of God in this season by the reason of the terrible works of God. Every magician, every sorcerer, we have announcement to make to you in this season. Everything you are doing is coming down in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that we are giving it to him because he bewitched the people. That is why every day we come every bewitching over the people. Today is the 21st of February and we declare every cast a spell, every bewitchment, we are breaking the hold in the name of Jesus. We declare the terrible acts of God shall be displayed. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that when they believed, Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God. And that's what we do here every day in activating power prayer. We preach the kingdom of God. We emphasize the word of God. We declare the authority of the word of God. When Philip landed in that city, I tell you something. The Bible says the people were listening. The things concerning the kingdom of God. And the Bible says in the name of Christ, they were baptized both men of God. If you read that, I don't have time, oh God. But in that place, we see Simeon himself also believe. But I believe this belief is a false belief. Because we saw down the line, when he saw Peter, oh my God, arriving. Oh my God. When they saw Peter arriving and begin to lay hands on people. Oh, yeah, and they see the terrible acts. Do you know what happened? They said, 
said, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is more, more than I know. The Bible says that Simeon offered them money. He offered them money so that they can give him the same thing that they saw. But I thank God for the life of Peter. I tell you, ministers are rising these days who will begin to bring separation between what they handle money. This is same money. God, it is that. a doctrine where people are trading the power of God for money. But the truth God, is God, that God, the God, power God. of God cannot be traded with money. No oh, way. Simon told him the law, the money that Simon Peter, he said, your money perish with you. It is time when we begin to address all these money three things that are happening in the yeah, body God, of God, Christ God, where God, people God. are thinking they can trade the power of God with money. I tell you something, the Bible says freely we have received and freely we give and we declare that every Simon that have taken seat God, over God, the power God, of God, 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 over the people of God, where God, they are God, thinking God, they are God, experiencing God, 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 the terrible God, God, acts of God. Oh, I remember Elimas. You know Elimas? Elimas was the one that was trying to sidetrack her. And do you know what Paul did? The Bible says that Paul lifted up his voice and he caused that man and he became I'm blind. I'm about. talking about the terrible acts of God. Mm. That was a terrible acts of God. Instantly the Bible said a mist fell upon him I and he began, I'm telling you, by the terrible acts of that God, God people will give their life to Christ. By the, the terrible acts of God, God people will experience the God of confidence. By the terrible acts of God, because when this judgment is beginning to be released upon everyone that is given a false representation of the kingdom of God, you know what is going to happen? People, the Lord said, until the judgment comes, the people of the earth will not learn righteousness. That means they will learn righteousness by force, by this terrible acts of God. In this season that we have stepped into, it is the season where the terrible acts of God have been displayed. And in your life it will be displayed. It will come like a healing. It will come like restoration. It will come like deliverance. It will come like provision. Because right there in the wilderness, mm -hmm. where the terrible acts of God were displayed, God told Moses, listen Moses, I'm going to rain down food from above. People are going to eat food. And he began to tell God, please make sure you tell me what I will tell the people that make sense. How can you bring that so tell them in the morning they shall be filled with food in the evening they shall be filled with flesh in the wilderness terrible acts of god are showing every day but god wants people to come into covenant in case you are not in the covenant in case you are just asking the christian by mouth it is time for you to register yourself in this covenant so that this terrible acts of god will be displayed so we are going to continue i tell you throughout this week it's gonna be awesome thank you lord jesus get ready I said, get ready, the because the Jesus. terrible acts of God yes. shall be displayed yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now you see, Thank like, you, Jesus. Like was saying, the acts of God yes. are in our everyday mm. life. They are in our everyday life. Yes. It is expected to pa -la -pa -la -pa. manifest itself on a daily basis in every pa -la -pa. situation. You are not Ma called to live an ordinary life. We are called to live extraordinarily, perfecting and living in the acts of God. Now you see, every day we wake up, it is an act of God to wake us up. Every day we go out, there is an empowerment for us to operate as God. The Bible says, saviors have risen out of Zion. Now you see that the children of Israel, they were promised this act of God. But on the platform of oh a covenant, oh on the God. platform of a covenant, oh my God. and do you know that the covenant speaks? Yes. The covenant speaks. It speaks. And the covenant Clearly. spoke on their behalf. Yes. Everywhere they went to, before they appeared, their, their fear and their dread appeared to announce them. And I pray for that dimension for you. Amen. Every day you go out, God will put your dread before your enemies. God Amen. will put your fear before those who will want to stand against you da, and da, you da, will da, come da, out da, da. with victory Amen. the children of israel did not fail they did not falter they arrived their promised no, land no, no, you no, you no, will no, arrive no. your promised land the name of there Jesus. are expectations Talabu. you have Shataba. for this week you shall experience them Amen. there are expectations you have for your finances mm. you will experience them Amen. there are expectations you have for your spiritual life you will experience them the there are expectations you have for your body you will experience them Amen. all on the platform of the covenant yes. all on the platform of the covenant yes. so i want us to pray actually bringing ourselves to the covenant and then we will bring ourselves to the place of experiencing that's, that's manifesting these terrible works as god 
lays them upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. But look at this. He said, I make a covenant. What is a covenant? The most important covenant today it is, the, is the covenant of is the new covenant that was enacted by Christ Jesus. When he says, Come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That is where you are operating from the dimension of rest. You are rest assured that God will show up. You are rest assured that God will meet you at the point of your need. You are rest assured that God will provide. You are rest assured. Pastor John talked about in the wilderness where there was no meat, no, where there was nothing. But God told them, and he blew, carried a wind oh and brought quails Ishala in barabaka massive barabaka numbers. Barabaka I don't know what is your expectation, Masika but I see the terrible acts of God Masika bringing barabaka the solution for your situation barabaka in the name of Jesus. Name of so we're Jesus. about to pray. I want you Mata to come barabaka into this covenant barabaka. and live in this covenant. Mm. Say with us, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I come to you I today. I believe in sin. I believe in sin. I want you. I want you to help me to help me to live for you to live for every you. covenant every covenant of sin of sin of iniquity of iniquity today today they are washed away they are washed away by the power by the power of the covenant of the covenant that is in Christ that Jesus that is in Christ Jesus Jesus Lord Jesus I receive you I receive as you as my Lord as my Lord and personal Savior and personal give me the grace give me the grace to be your son to be your son to be your daughter to be your daughter from henceforth from henceforth I choose I choose to live for you to live for in Jesus you, name in Jesus name Amen Amen that is the best Basic covenant, but you are going to pray, Lord, give me the grace mm. to walk in covenant wisdom. Hallelujah! Give me the grace ah, to walk in covenant and to live a covenant life. Lord, give me the grace to operate in covenant favor. Give me the grace to operate. Listen to this: It was covenant that made David. He said he has made the covenant with David. Even when David messed up, God showed up because of the covenant. He didn't allow him to perish. He didn't allow him to be finished. The covenant showed up. Thank you. Ah, ya catolas. Say, in Father, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of oh, Jesus. God, oh, God. I ask, I ask for, your covenant for your covenant to speak for to me. Speak for in me. every dimension. In every dimension. On a daily basis. On a daily basis. In the many days of my life. Days of I, my ask life I ask that the, oh covenant God, that the covenant will bring, will bring the, experience the experience of your terrible of acts terrible in every dimension of my life. In every dimension of my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Yeah, mm. it's a season of terrible acts. Mm. Uh, you know what? Terrible acts is actually your inheritance if you are in the covenant. Mm. Jesus said, This sign shall follow. They will not follow after signs. We don't run after signs. Mm. Signs follow us. Mm. These signs shall follow them that mm. believe. What Jesus was describing is actually this terrible mm. act. Mm. 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 These terrible works of God. Where he does the unusual. Magabada. He is willing to do unusual. Yeah, I have do, personally do, do, experienced do, 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 unusual do, do, do. terrible works of the Lord. Yeah, and God do, do. said Shabada. I will do. Mm. These terrible works mm. in this season, mm. position yourself for terrible works. God said, I will do marvels, yes, I will do marvels, and mm. He said, such things as have not been done in the ah, earth. Yeah, so, that. if you are only thinking in your mind and in your imagination, looking at what you can see, that natural means you ways. are reducing natural ways. I tell you, natural ways, and you know how you can ah, skim it out. No, yeah, no, 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 in the place of dryness, you can Mayaka. see water. These are terrible acts, the womb that has been removed. Can the baby to produce. They are terrible as mm. I tell you in this season, get ready. Mm. Whatever the world called impossible through the terrible works of God is going to be displayed. Yes, we want Lord. to speak against every negative works that look as if mm. they are terrible works. To the extent, the Bible says that if it were possible, the very elect would be deceived. Mm. They will show signs and wonders in the heavens. The Bible told us in the book of Matthew 24, no, he said these are Shabbat. negative, terrible works that if you are not careful, you will not, we will not mm. understand them. Mm. But today we lift up our voice and Igalabada begin to curse Shabbat. every negative word, every false Katu oppression, Shazazaka every counterfeit, Katu counterfeit acts. Yes, Yadakalu that's what they are. Badash. They are counterfeit. They Yadakalu look like Yadakalu original, Yadakalu but bring Yadakalu them Yadakalu close Yadakalu to the original. Yadakalu you will discover Yadakalu they are fake. Yadakalu Do you know that all Yadakalu the fake things Yadakalu that Simeon was doing Yadakalu in the land of Samaria, by the time Philip landed, it was clear that the real has appeared. When Elimas was using sorcery to deceive that man that was the head of the city by the time 
Paul and Barnabas appeared in that city, it was very clear that the fake is fake mm. and the original is on the so we lift up our voice and begin to declare in this season of the terrible works of the lord in this land ghana and wherever our voice is reaching we declare in the name of jesus every terrible work of the devil every negative works every magician every sorcerer displaying as if the bible says that Simeon was even thought to be a power of god we declare in this season you are going down by the authority of the word of god we come against Right now, he got in this season. The terrible works of God shall be displayed in our life. As you go into your day, you are going and you are declaring, I will be a candidate of the terrible works of God. I shall experience it in my marriage. We are the wine seems to be drying up. The Lord will begin to have the new wine to come up. Where you are experiencing ill health, the Lord is going to release health because. He said that healing is the children's bread. Wherever it looks as if something is happening, you're gonna experience the terrible works of God. Say, Lord, I am expecting to begin to see the terrible works of God in my life, in every aspect of my life. Is your rise as a child of God? It shall follow you on a regular basis. You go forth with this mindset and begin to declare it in your life. It's well with you. Monday, the 21st of February, is blessed for you, and every wickedness in today we shake it out shake we it shake out. it out of today and we establish only the castle of god in Amen. the land go forth and enjoy your day Amen. in the name of Amen. jesus i just said Hallelujah. the lord said there are divine interventions thank you father divine interventions divine intervention. i'm hearing that very clearly divine intervention before the end of the day you will have divine intervention Amen. in terrible ways terrible to show ways. that it is the acts of god Hallelujah. in the name of jesus Amen. god bless Amen. remember god is working for you you cannot be put to shame Thank god bless you, you. hallelujah have hey have a blessed day hallelujah. Hallelujah.